Glenn Parker, High Vibration Foundation. Thank you very much for joining me. Another movie review, boys and girls. It's like, what are you doing? All these movie reviews. Well, I love movies as a form of entertainment. I love you know, art museums and shows like Cirque du Soleil that are combined art with theater and this theatrical type of production. You have live music and, and shows like Cirque du Soleil where you actually have live pe people playing. So you have an orchestra, you have live characters, you have a story narrative. And I compare that to what I'm going to show you now, boys and girls. Um, the modern hair with John Travolta as a, as a woman, you know, dancing and doing all this other stuff, you know, as an overweight woman is just, uh, this is fantastic. <laughs> it's like, the way they, and spoilers, so run away if you don't like spoilers, but the way that they tell the story, they don't necessarily make light of integration and <clears throat> um, <clears throat> excuse me they don't make light of integration and they don't make light of you know segregation and these types of ideas and the color lines but they do at the same time to try to emphasize in my personal opinion the growth that we've had over you know well, when was that like in, in the early 60s so just at the at the beginning you have like 55 50, 55 years of growth. So in one generation almost, you know, people don't blink an eye. I, I love it when I see mixed couples, you know, I see Asian and, and, and black, and then you see, you know, like, uh, you know, this, it just, it just boggles the mind. I see so many of them and, and I love it because you get all these diverse type of babies and you're getting less and less color lines and all this diversity. So they make comical light of this to basically say the following. Look at what we've done in a very short amount of time. And they go through a progression and somebody, you know, somebody stands her ground and says, I am not going to, you know, this is what I stand for. I don't care if you mark me as a commie or any of these types of ideas or labels you want to give me because you're afraid to come into the new energy that's here. And you want to stay in fear and back off because that is the accepted social labeling. And I was filled with so much unconditional love when I was watching this because you could really see how much growth we've had as a civilization in what would be a very short time. I mean, you're looking at hundreds and hundreds of years and days of old for things to change. Look how much has changed in a 50 year span. I mean, look at go into the 70s till now, it's like, wow. <laughs> it's like, Look at ideals and tolerances. Now, there's some parts of the world, some parts of this country in the United States that are still intolerant. I have relatives from some of those part, uh, some of those parts, and I don't definitely. I, I've gone and visited them when I was younger in my twenties, and I'm like, they, even my grandmother from these regions said a couple things. I'm like, seriously, grandma, you just said that? Because I grew up in a little call, a little town called Lawndale, right outside of Inglewood, California, and. Um, I had Tongan friends and Samoan friends and Cuban friends and African American friends and uh, first generation friends from Mexico that were born here, you know, that didn't even have green cards or anything yet, but they were going to school. And the classes I had were, most of them were ESL, English as a second language, because there were so many mixed people. And I was speaking better Spanish when I was a kid than I did English. <clears throat> so you have all these mixes and generations in, and you have movies like this that are fantastically done, by the way. The the music is non-stop, it's all mixed into one and, and another, and the music is telling the storyline and the story narrative. They have very little character interaction in the way of needing to have oral dialogues. They just seem in, in between the next song, which is telling the storyline. And that is a true musical. I love musicals. I've never seen Fiddler on the Roof, it's actually in the list to go and watch, and or The Sound of Music, but I love hair, and so um, I, I, I used to get stoned uh, when I was very sick, and I would sit and get stoned and watch hair, and go, hey, hair. <laughs> I was like, um, and this is likened to the production quality and the ideals of having like an epic, well-done musical in the way of hair, so uh, if you do like musicals, fantastic, if you'd like just to see a glimpse of progression in humanity, this is also a very good glimpse into that as well. So this 
Um, for social economics, you can see color lines fading and it's done in a comical way and it's done in a very ethical type of way. So kudos, definitely recommend it on a one to 10. You know, this would be like an eight. So I reserve my really epic movies for like the, you know, and uh, for the eights and for the nines and the tens. Eight, a solid eight though. You gotta have this, you gotta watch this. You gotta have it in your library, you gotta watch it. Thank you very much for joining me, Glenn Parker High Vibration Foundation, coaching life, business, and spiritual. Also retreats, don't forget retreats. Down below in the description, there's always epic stuff going on. Tons of different links to websites, personal email address, all these types of things. Uh, links to other channels, there's other channels coming up, boys and girls. Oh no, other channels. As if you didn't have enough of Glenn as it was. And if you do like this video, please do like, subscribe, and share. Uh, you know, add to playlists, all that good stuff. Help, help, help. <laughs> spread the word, spread the word. <laughs>